education um, uh, requires uh, space and time where, where students can can actually think about n not just uh, what what they're um, feeling uh, or reeling from at this at this point in time, but but can can actually you know do higher level skills like analyze, uh, uh, think of and and dream about the future. You know? um, it, I think it's because of this that the department now takes on a different challenge when we take when we refer to areas where uh, uh, there are obviously uh, uh, the possibility of conflict. No? Um, children in areas of conflict need a um, a kind of a foundation where they they can have that space and that time uh, to begin to think about things other than themselves, about the world, about science, about math. No? And um, um, unless there is that, that uh, essential peace in their hearts, in their homes, I don't think you can begin any lesson at all. No? Uh, and, and this is where um, uh, we feel that um, the department will have to work with many other, um, net, uh, a whole network actually of, of uh, foundations, groups, and communities so that we we create this uh, this atmosphere and this environment where uh, young children ca can actually uh, um, thrive and, and, and begin to enter into the educational process. If you look at the depth ed curriculum, you'll, uh, you, you'll, you'll be able to um, uh, see the different aspects of peace building, whether that's in education sa pagpapakatao, in values education, in aralim panlipunan, um, the, the, the basic values of tolerance and then moving from tolerance into respect, into accepting differences, and then uh, recognizing that each, 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 each child is actually unique and we don't have to be the same. In fact, um, it is so much exciting uh, that people are different, that, that you know, we, we, we have different preferences in food, uh, we have different images of, of who God is and what heaven will be like. Um, that makes the world exciting. But um, when we are unable to understand and we, we try to make everyone uh, of the same mold, uh, um, that goes against the very grain of what education is all about. So if you, if you analyze the whole curriculum of the department, and I'm sure uh, um, even private institutions, you'll recognize that uh, um, these are all part of, of that uh, widening of one's perspective so that we become more tolerant, accept, accepting, and, and, and respectful of differences. Peace building is about people-to-people -people exchange. It's, it's about touching lives. It's about, it's about working and listening to stories that are far different from my experience. Um, uh, and, and I think this is where it is important that um, students from one institution, whether public or private, are able to break the walls and go beyond their campuses, um, see that, that life outside their campuses is very different from this monoculture that they are in, in, in their particular institution, and hopefully exchange in a spirit of dialogue uh, um, with other groups or communities. Uh, um, I think this is where a program like Face-to-Faith uh, -to -Faith allows students in one institution, whether that's from an urban center like Manila, uh, uh, together with another school, let's say in, in Mindanao, uh, be able to exchange views and, and, and see each other via uh, technology, um, how the other person uh, uh, sees things. No? Uh, what is his actual situation? Uh, what what are her per perspectives? Uh, and and um, if these are different from mine, uh, to be able to enrich each other uh, in the process of, of sharing that dialogue. Uh, we don't have to talk about peace um, to be able to build peace. We can play football with another uh, athlete and not be competitive. And, and work together towards a, this, a similar goal. That's, that's peace building. 
I, I, can, I can work with another artist on a, in a huge mosaic without opening my mouth. And maybe that one or two hour um, a silent uh, work will build more peace than three hours of um, discussions on how to build peace. Um, peace is, peace building is, is about all of these little things that we do. No? It's about praying for peace. It's about working with each other. It's about opening our minds. It's about silence. It's about uh, um, reflecting on uh, the differences and how, how, how beautiful it is that we are different from each other. Otherwise, this will be a very boring world. Mindanao is a rich, it's a richly blessed uh, part of the country. And yet, the poorest families and the poorest children we find in, 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 in that, in, in Mindanao. Um, it is important that we put up schools there because schools are are, uh, are are centers where peace and hope are are uh, established um, by the mere presence of a teacher in a conflict area that physical presence is a witness to the young kids that there is a world better than what you see today that the blood and the tears that um, you may see every day can be transformed into plants and flowers and trees that uh, uh, can change your world. Um, the department um, feels that uh, it is in these areas that are risky, where it is actually uh, sometimes foolish to send a teacher and establish a school, that we must be there. Um, because to deprive them of, of, of that sanctuary where, where uh, kids can dream of a better future is to deprive them of their very lives even today. Um, we, will have the, we, we have the annual uh, Palarong Pambansa. And uh, uh, as our um, particular contribution to uh, the, the peace process, that, uh, the framework that has just been signed in Mindanao, we are dedicating the 2013 Palarong Pambansa um, uh, for, for the autonomous region of Muslim Mindanao on their road towards uh, the Bangsamoro uh, community. And um, uh, we're, we're taking a special effort to welcome our Muslim as student athletes uh, to the 2013 Palarong Pambansa because I think it is a, an important venue where young people will be able to see that um, they are not just uh, at the back end of, of our concerns. Um, they are as much our brothers and sisters. Um, um, their dreams are, are very similar to mine. Uh, I may be wearing a cross and, 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 and uh, they may be averse to any religious image, but, but we are sons and daughters of the same God whom we call by different names. No? And um, I think when we, when we come down to it, uh, uh, the differences are very peripheral, and we will be surprised. No? Uh, our heart-to-heart -heart talks will, will, uh, will allow us to recognize that deep within, uh, when you tear apart the, the, the peripheral uh, uh, and superficial things, we really are brothers and sisters. And, and I think that's a wonderful discovery for young people. I'm happy to share with you my Christmas greeting um, uh, via Zoob TV. But for this Christmas, I ask you in a very special way to offer your prayers and peace-building efforts so that we can participate in the peace process that has started in the Bangsamoro community. I think while Christmas is largely celebrated only by Christians, this will be a wonderful season when we can continue to remember and to give our gifts to the Muslim children Young, our young brothers and sisters because it is a wonderful way of telling them and expressing to them that Christmas is also a time for peace, for reconciliation, as well as for strengthening the ties between brothers and sisters, especially those who are farthest from us.
And um, if there is one gift that you can give to the country, especially after the devastation that we have experienced from Sendong last year and Pablo this year, I think it would be a wonderful occasion to continue to plant more trees. Hopefully these are Philippine native trees. As our preparation for the centennial, we challenge ourselves to plant one million trees. We've gone beyond that. But I think this is a good occasion this Christmas. Make it a green Christmas. Continue planting more native trees. Continue planting seeds of hope in the hearts of our Muslim brothers and sisters. Let's make Christmas real even today, not only in your homes, but all over the country. Merry Christmas to everyone.